depression is very common in Parkinson's disease, um, as I think you all know, but it's often underdiagnosed. And one of the reasons that it's underdiagnosed is that some of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease are similar to those of depression and vice versa. So that, for example, somebody who's rather slow in their movement, rather slow in their response to questioning, seems to have rather slowed thought processes, has a certain fixity of facial expression, and so on, uh, may have those symptoms either because of Parkinson's disease or because they're depressed or both. And if somebody clearly has Parkinson's disease, a doctor seeing those sorts of uh, findings uh, may attribute them to the Parkinson's disease and not realize that there's an underlying element of depression. <clears throat> Again, that stresses the importance of you, the patient, talking frankly to your doctor and bringing up issues that may seem very personal or intimate, but which are helpful to the, to the doctor in coming up with a correct assessment of the situation. And I would urge that you do that. Many of my patients, when they first come to see me in the clinic, feel rather hesitant about bringing these sorts of things up. Um, we have the time. Doctors should make the time. And the doctor is really there to help you, but needs your help to be able to help you. So, yes, depression is an underdiagnosed disorder in Parkinson's disease for the reason that I've just given you. But really, I think any discussion about your underlying feelings, your underlying actions at home, uh, your behavior at home, should enable your healthcare provider to, to, to recognize that there is an element of depression, and if that is significant, to initiate um, appropriate treatment. And there are many treatments, uh, treatments with medication, treatment with psychotherapy or a combination of the two, uh, other uh, agents as well, if really necessary. So that what I would say is, if you feel depressed, please do talk about it with your doctor and recognize that most people with depression will do very well in response to treatment. There is really no need for you to be suffering with symptoms of depression when, there's symptom, when those symptoms can be alleviated, can be helped by appropriate treatment.